All you'll need are some long nose pliers, T15 and T25 screwdrivers, a socket wrench and 15W40 oil. First eliminate all power. Then remove both wheels, these can be stiff to take off. You need to remove all of the screws holding the plastic outer housing shell in place. These might be tightly secured so take your time. Then remove the four screws holding the detergent tank holder in place at the bottom. You can then remove the pipe hose and the tank away from the pressure washer. There will be two more screws that you need to remove, one on either side of the yellow housing. Remove the detergent suction pipe hose and lift the motor up and out. Now remove the screws on the plastic casing with your T15 screwdriver head. You'll then be able to pull apart the two sides of the casing and remove the motor. There are four T25 screws on top of the cylinder head which need to be removed. These can be extremely tight so use a socket wrench to loosen them up and then use a T25 screwdriver to remove them fully. Be careful to keep the motor standing upright as you're removing all of the screws. If there's excess oil inside, it can drain out. Once all of the screws are out and the cylinder head is removed, lay the motor on its side to drain all of the old oil. We recommend using an old plate or an old bowl for this. Remove the two connectors at the bottom. Take a photo if needs be so you know which colour connector goes where later on. Then remove the switch unit from the side of the cylinder head as shown. To remove the o-ring seal simply lift it away from the cylinder head. With your new o-ring seal place it on the cylinder head as shown ensuring that it's sat flush. Now attach the existing switch unit we took off a few minutes ago. The brown wire connects to the connector below the text on the motor as shown. Then the black wire connects to the connector on the other side. Now top up the oil if needed in the cavity and place the cylinder head back on top. Then re-screw the four T25 screws in place, making sure to keep the unit upright so no oil leaks out whilst you're re-screwing. If you've had to remove the high pressure outlet with clamp to get to the screws, make sure to pop this back on. You can now put the unit on one side of the plastic casing as shown and then reattach the other side of the casing. Then re-screws all of the T15 screws back in place. You can place the motor back in the casing and reattach the detergent suction pipe hose. Then pop the plastic housing back on. For this to attach securely and easily, you may need to unscrew the four screws with a Phillips screwdriver on the black casing at the bottom of the handle. Then go ahead and re-screw all of the screws back into the plastic outer housing. And if you unscrewed the four screws on the bottom of the handle, also re-screw these in. You
you can then reattach the detergent tank holder and rescrew the four screws in. Then attach the detergent suction pipe hose back to the detergent tank. Reattach the wheels. And that's it, your new O-ring seal is all set to go.